Hey View Nation, do you suffer from dry skin, allergies, and all that good stuff in the wintertime? Well, I think I got something for you, so you might want to stay tuned and check out this video on this large humidifier, alright? Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy Mark for Loose Cruising Views, back to give another video. But you know how we do, before we get started, let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. Alright, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Yo, Vue Nation, this is your main man, Mark, back to give another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a <clears throat> large ultrasonic humidifier, alright? All right, from a company called Seajoy. But, you know, let's get a few things out of the way uh, before we get started. One, I'm not an expert. Two, I'm just a guy who loves tech and gadgets. And three, I just like to showcase new products I get right here on the channel, all right? I'm not an expert, just a regular everyday person, all right? All right, now if we got it out, out of the way, and uh, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button down there, all right? All right, now Spec Junkies, remember, I'm not an expert, all right? All right, all right today we got the uh, Seajoy Large Ultrasonic Humidifier. You know, I was going through the interwebs and, uh, you know, it's starting to get winter time and, you know, suffer from allergies and, you know, have to deal with that dry skin. I said, let me go ahead and check this bad boy out. All right, let me tell you a little bit more about it. Like I said, it's from a company called Seajoy. It's a large ultrasonic um, <clears throat> humidifier. It says it has a 30, uh, 30 mil fast humidity, uh, 2.1 gallon large capacity, built-in essential oil diffuser. So I guess you can put some of your essential oils in there, you know, to... You know, you know, liven up the smell in the place, and uh, you have a UVA uh, sterilization. So I'm thinking that it sterilizes itself or whatever, what have you. But we'll get more in detail a little bit later. And then see what else, what else is in here. It says uh, down here in the bottom. It says humidifier, three in one humidifier, uh, aromatizer, aromatizer or whatever, and a uh, hydro. Uh, what is it? Hydrostat. Because I'm trying to look at this sideways and, and, and read this thing and try to show it to you guys at the same time. You see the picture of it right here? It's like a tall unit. It says, uh, put 360 right here. Let's see, what else is on here? Turn this side. Oh, yeah, it has a remote control. Uh, it says, okay, right here, the sterilization uh, display. It shows the display on there. It has a humidification, water shortage. It shows you, it lets you know when, uh, when the water is low. Um, also, it has a uh, sterilizer, so I guess it sterilizes it, you know, and then have a timer on there, a uh, time, timer indicate, indicator, <clears throat> a mist volume, so it controls how much mist comes out of it, and a power on and off, all right? And let's see what else is here. Uh, see this one? Oh, power on and off. Okay, so that, this is for the remote control, and this is the display, and it shows you control the humidity, you know, all that good stuff. So all the good stuff is up here. You control it from the remote. That's pretty cool. It has a remote. I'm liking that. Let's see, yeah, that's just a picture of the remote right here. Down here at the bottom. Picture of the remote. And uh, a lot of this stuff on here. You can pause just to read it for yourself. Hopefully you can see it. And here's some more information back here for the spec junkies. Uh basically pretty much the same things we I went over. Just telling about the uh <clears throat> the capacity is uh 2.1 gallon, net weight is uh 1.65 kilograms. Uh, gross weight 2.75 kilograms and product size 8 inches oh, let's say 8 inches 8.1 inches by 8.1.25 inches tall so I'm thinking it's 25.4 inches tall and miss volume 300 uh, ml in a packet number one unit all right uh, we're just saying please read the manual carefully before and to keep the manual in the future reference. Okay, yeah, you, you want to keep that right there. And for the first time of use, place the machine in a room temperature for 30 minutes before turning it on. All right, so you want to keep it in the room. Uh, before you start, you want to get it at room temperature. Like you go out and buy it today or just get it delivered to you today. You want to put it in the room for 30 minutes before you even start messing with it. Uh, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> please use a normal room uh, temperature, you know, between five Celsius to 40 cells in relative humidity below 80%. All right, and please use clean water with a, a temp temperature not higher than 40 uh, degrees Celsius. 40 Celsius, all right? All right, so all that talking right there, you see that on, on both sides of the box, it's telling you pretty much the same stuff over here. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the box. That's what you're working with. I got my 
Milwaukee on deck today. All right, let's get this bad boy out of the box. Okay, we got this bad boy out of the box, and man, this looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm liking this little black colorway. I think it comes in another color, like a, a R white, but you know, I have mostly dark colors, so I wanted, you know, uh, the, the blackish gray one. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. And it was a beast trying to get it out of this box. Let me tell you some View Nation. They had this thing packed real good. It was a beast trying to get it. I thought I was deep sea fishing trying to pull that thing up like that, man. Anyway, let me let me get back to this right here. <laughs> Fuck me, carried away. But uh, yeah, this looks pretty nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, for the spate junkies, let me make sure that uh, they're right about the uh, the size. It's about 25, 25 and some change. About 25.4 inches. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how wide is it. Let's see. I think it's eight. We do it from the top. Well, from the base of it, it might be eight. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's it's you know you know a nice space saving design. So you know you don't have to worry about you know a lot of a lot of stuff. So uh, let's take a closer look at it. You know, if you deal with a lot of uh, dry skin like I do and allergies, this is something that I think you would really need in your home, especially in the uh, cold uh, winter months in the fall, and you know the air in the house gets so dry. So this is uh, something that come in handy. This one, uh, this one right here, uh, is a large capacity with uh, holds like 2.1 gallons, which is eight liters. Uh, also has a built-in oil diffuser. So uh, back here on the back, I don't know if you can see this, but right here is some like some little vents. Let me take this this part off, the top part off. Hopefully, it doesn't roll away from me. Like you can see right here on the bottom, it's a little vent right here. This is basically a tray. So you pull this out, and then there you, you have, you know, this is where you put your uh, essential oils in here as well. So to, you know, kind of make, you know, make it smell a little bit fresh in, in, the, in their home. Let's see, let's turn it, and let me let you look at the inside of it. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty simple design, you know. Nothing too complicated, easy to keep clean, just wipe it out, you know, keep it clean. And I would advise, you know, if you use it, you know, constantly every day, I would advise, uh, you know, at least clean it every other week or something like that. I mean, that's, that's just me, my, my, uh, my preference, all right? And see, it also has a nice little remote control as well. Let me turn this thing around. It has a nice little remote control right here. Easy and simple to use. You know, you have your um, your uh, humidity control button, you have a timer button, and you have your uh, mist button. It basically controls uh, the volume of mist that comes out of the humidifier. Also, you have a light control. So, you know, if, if you know lights bother you while you're sleeping, you can turn off the L LED screen so you don't have to worry about that. And you have a sterilized mode. And then, you, of course, you got your power button right here, all right? And it comes with batteries. That's a, that's a good thing. It comes with batteries, all right. Uh, it weighs about hmm, I want to say it weighs about 2.75 uh, uh, kilograms, but either here or there. Let me show you the top of it right here. Top of it. This is where you know. This is you know what the vent. What uh, all the missile come out right here, and this is also where you will feel. Now you can fill it, you no, know, just without taking the top off and just pour it in here. But me personally, you know, to keep from making a mess, I'll just take the go ahead and take the top off, and bam, it's just easier to do it that way. And let me let you take a look inside. No, not too much inside. Let me see. Do I have a flashlight somewhere? Yeah, I think I have a flashlight right here, so you can see inside this bad boy. Let me let you look inside of it. You know, pretty simple. Nothing too fancy. So but uh just you know the inside of it workings in it. Uh see the bottom of it. You know, it's like I say we just wipe it off and keep it clean, you're good to go. Make sure you put it back on the right way. And the easy way, you know, you can tell you have the right way, just make sure you turn it around where you see the see the uh the name and the uh the window right here, the water uh window, and bam, goes on too easy, too easy. All right, has a little pedestal on here. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this, uh, matter of fact, I have some water right here. 
I'm gonna put it in. I got like almost about a gallon of water I'm gonna put in so we can so we can test out the uh, the mist. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy. I'm gonna plug this bad boy up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it full of water. Hopefully I don't get it all over the place. All right, all right. We got a fill of water in it, like an easy, easy to read uh, uh, water gauge right here in the window. You can see the water right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on top. Like so, close my little water jug up. As you can see, as soon as I when I plugged up, the uh, power light is flashing, letting you know it is working. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on. Bam! You see that? And it tells you uh, the, uh, if that's the humidity level. That you have it set on so I can change the humidity level so if I want more humidity in the room I can just you know keep hitting it change it up I think the max humidity on here is 80 as you can see right there it was 80 that was the max humidity level and let's see here now I was telling you about the light feature right here so if you want to if that light bothers you right there you can just press and hold and it goes off and it's still running you know so you know if light bothers you while you sleep you know you could do it like that and then one click to turn the display back on so it's just too easy too easy also the uh, I don't know if you can see how much mist is coming out here because my bright picture in the back so let me put some where you can see how how much mist is coming coming out of here you see this mist out of here, out of here? I'm gonna go ahead and control the mist with the uh, uh, mist button Okay, that looks like uh, that might have been that might be maximum uh, mist. Okay, this is low. This is low. You see, it's just a little bit of mist coming out of here. Okay, let me. This is medium, and then when I hit it to high, it's just a bunch of it just starts shooting out. And it has a pretty strong flow as well. So, I think this is this is pretty neat. And like I said, the timer on here. Let me see. Uh, let me see the max hours hours of for the timer. You can set it up to let me see from one hour to 12 12 is the max Yep 12 let me go back 12 is the max amount of hours you can set it for and I think that's more than enough I mean, you know, you, you're not, probably not gonna be uh, running it for more than 12 hours and with this having you know Such a large capacity about eight liters, which is pretty much uh, about two gallons and you know you don't have to worry about keep going back and forth uh, filling it. I mean you can just set it and forget it. I mean, you know, like some of the smaller uh, air purifiers I used to have, I used to have to go ahead and you know constantly uh, refill them, refill them. With this one, you know this this one pretty much will last for 12 hours or more. So this this I mean this is pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know me being a gadget guy and a tech guy, I really like the fact that it has this LED screen, remote control, you know, you know all this you no know, different features. So I'm, I'm really liking it. And you know, since we've had it, we've had it a, uh, a few weeks, and man, I can tell the difference. My skin is not as dry, and with my allergies, my, you know, my nasal cavities are not so dried up and I'm constantly, you know, sneezing. I don't have to worry about that, because now we got something in here to kind of, you know, help out with the air and keep the air quality pretty, pretty decent. So, I mean, hey, it's, just, it's nothing else to say. It's a nice, you know, humidifier, you know? You know, if, uh, if you're in the market for something like this, I definitely would pick it. I definitely would recommend it, you know. And I like in the sleek, modern design. It doesn't take up a lot of space either. I mean, and it's very quiet. Let me be quiet so you can hear. Very quiet. Very quiet. So you're not worried about no loud noise or nothing like that. And like I said, it's easy to maintain and, you know, easy to clean. So, hey, if you're in the market for something like this, then I would go ahead and, I would go ahead and get it, you know. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend, and tell that friend, tell a friend. So check out the videos and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right? All right? But, um, yeah. I'm liking this. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get some essential oils to put in there and see how it works with the essential oils. All right? All right. Let's see here. Like I always say, 
Treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better than you want to be treated, all right? All right. Let's see here. The message for today is, hmm. Take time in your life to get to know yourself, all right? And you're probably saying, Mark, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, you have a lot of people out here, uh, you know, jumping from the relationship to relationship or marriage to marriage and, and just feeling like, you know, and, and nothing's really working out. And if they and they have this feeling like, hey, you know, if I if I get in a relationship, that's supposed to make me happy. And that's supposed to complete my life. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's not what relationships are for. And you, you know, if you keep jumping in from relationship to relationship, you know, a lot of times it means that you don't know yourself. So before you can, uh, you know, benefit somebody else and uh, know somebody else and be comfortable with somebody else, first you need to be comfortable with your own skin and get to know yourself. Once you know yourself and understand yourself a little bit better, then, you know, going into relationships might be, you know, a little bit smoother, you know, and you'll, you know, they'll, they'll work out a little bit, a little bit better. But if you don't know yourself, how do you expect somebody else to, to know you or uh, get to know you if you don't even know yourself? All right. So that's the message for the day. Take time out of your life and take a break from everybody and all friends and all that stuff and get to know yourself. All right. That's the message for the day. This has been your main man, Mark Flu Screen Views. Man, drop this mic and I'm out. Peace.